Today we're going to talk about money. So there are lots of limiting beliefs that we may have about money. I do a lot of business mentorships and a lot of my clients are asking me, how do I make more money? Because <laughs> right? at the end of the day, when we start our own business, if you're an entrepreneur, you know what it is. We find that we can make money, but we spend a lot of money as well in order to be able to make money. So there's a lot of marketing costs, there's a lot of courses, a lot of different um, tools that we need in order to be in business and, and it costs a lot of money. So in order to make a profit at the end of the day, we need to be able to make a lot of money. Right? Now, um, I have to say, I have always been good at making money. That's one thing. However, I was really good at spending it too. I remember um, selling, uh, I was co-owning a printing business and I made quite a bit of money uh, at, during that transaction. And I would not have had to work really hard for the rest of my life after this. But guess what? Where was that money two years later? Gone. Because somehow I was really good at spending money. Thankfully, I had put aside some of this money in RSPs and, and I still have something to show for. However, all the rest was just gone like that. And then I realized I had a lot of different beliefs. I believed that I was good at making money. And I believed as well that you needed to work hard to make money. I believed that money doesn't grow in trees. I believed that once you start making more money, you spend more money, so you still live paycheck to paycheck. I had a lot of different limiting beliefs about money myself. And when I realized that and I paid attention to the way I was thinking, I thought, oh my gosh, this is keeping me from, from keeping the money that I make. Oh my gosh, I have to do something about these limiting beliefs. So what are your limiting beliefs about money? And, and I realized that um, mine were coming in parts from uh, my father's upbringing, who had 23 siblings, there's 17 alive now, and they were raised by a single mom. Can you imagine how you need to be scarce in everything that you do to raise 17 children um, with only one one parent, <laughs> uh, how many mouths to feed? So my dad did grow up that knowing that money was scarce, that money didn't grow in trees, and that when you started making more money, you would spend more money and you would always live paycheck to paycheck. And, and I inherited these limiting beliefs about money as well. And somehow when I realized that, I thought, oh, I need to change this. I need to start believing that when I make more money, I have more money. That's it. That's as simple as that. Now, for those of you who are, who are watching this thinking, yeah, but Natalie, money is not important. Money, money is not the end of it all. You know, it's not important to make money. Well, I have to say that since I've been working with children in Haiti, I don't have to tell you that Haiti is one of the poorest countries in the world. I have realized the value of money. And yes, you can do a lot with money. So think about somebody that you have helped. Think about somebody that um, you've been able to change their life with your business, with what you do, or, or just because you were there for them. And now pretend that I'm gonna put $5 million in your account. How much more good can you do in the world? How much more, how many more people can you help with this money? So I have to say that for those of you who keep telling me, well, you know, money is not important. Um, I'm gonna introduce you to my little friend here, my friend Yuri. So Yuri there, he's in my arms. And um, those are my friends from, uh, from Haiti, from Grand Goa. And um, Yuri's mother disappeared because um, somehow she judged that Yuri would be better off at the orphanage because he would have two meals a day there. 
and she decided that maybe it was better for him to grow up without a mom. Um, that's no cool. That money can do a lot of things. So I, I sponsor Yuri. So Yuri is my godchild, um, uh, and I do um, with thirty dollar a month. Um, I make sure that Yuri has something to wear, uh, something to eat, a toothbrush, a uniform for school, and sometimes hard-boiled eggs or an extra protein um, once in a while. So I've been calculating everything in $30 range. So if I see something that's $90, I think that's worth three childs, three children. So really, money is important it's your duty to be rich it's your duty because think of all the good that you can do in the world with money so please let's start changing the limiting belief the limiting beliefs that we have about money and let's start making some serious money today